Gentlemen, so today, as you probably noticed, we have a, um, a video camera here today. So, um, so the reason that we're videotaping today is that part of my job, <laughs> you don't have to hide, not, it's pointed more, it's going to be pointed at me, really. I mean, maybe a little bit as I go around, or if you answer something, which you guys are all going to do. Um, you might be some, but for now, go ahead and put those devices away. Or you just get in the whiteboard app. Yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah, if you um, you can have that whiteboard app up. Otherwise, we've got some scrap paper and markers you can use, which is the same thing. But Ms. Daniels, could you put the device away, please? Yeah. Thank you. So um, part of my job is to make videos for other teachers. All right. So this is much more about me than about you guys. And we'll go to our agenda here in a second. But the part that we want. Um, other teachers to see is how you figure out what's important, right? Because the more, like if Marquise, if he's just learning about, what is he learning about? Make up something. He's covering his face. He's learning about covering his face. Now, if you're learning about, um, let's say, oh, welcome, Sam. Let's say Talise is learning about um, the Holocaust, right? If you just think you're just learning about it, if you don't think about what's important, if you don't think about what's important, you're not going to remember it. So today we're focusing on learning critical content, and that's why we're being videotaped. Sam, you're going to share with um, your partner. So here's our learning target. Analyze cause and effects of genocide. All right? And but first, in, let's look at what, how we're doing that. So first, the one we're talking about is Rwandan genocide. Let's see. I guess I should do one, two, three. One means you've never, you've barely heard of Rwandan genocide. Actually, we could do zero, one, two, three today. So zero means you've never learned about it. Three means you know a lot. Rwandan genocide. Let's see. Zero, one, two, three. Never heard of it. Heard of it. No some, no little. What do you think? What you got? <laughs> zero, one, two, three. What you got, Tracy? Zero, one, two, three, zero. About Rwandan genocide. You, you, ha you know some about it, great. Um, so we have just a few people that have heard of it, some that know some, of, one that knows some about it, but most have not. That's great. So go ahead and pull out either your whiteboard app or we have just some, some regular paper here that you can write on the back with a marker. And you can talk in your pods, or she's got a whiteboard app, so you don't need that. You just need really one whiteboard app per group here. And I want you to tell me what you think <coughs> is important. So we'll put up the term on the board. The term is Rwandan genocide. So this is the term. And what I want you to do is basically what questions do you have that need to be answered? effects of the Rwandan genocide, what are some things that you need to know? So talk in your groups, put it on the whiteboard app, and then, I'll, then you can show me. And we're going to put them up here. Give, give you a minute or two there. Rwandan genocide. Good questions. I'm teaching about something. Great. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So. Is it not back? Look at that. It's hidden now. <laughs> All right. We're learning something new. Tell Talisa that she can put on. What would be important to know? What the meaning? What's that? What's the meaning of the word? So you the, the, the meaning of those two words. Mm -hmm. All right, did you talk to Jenny? What might be important about this term? About what one What's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what might be genocide? What, what questions do you have? Or what would be important to know? Sure. I see Anya's got some good stuff. Arlene, got some good stuff. 
This team is going, getting some things down. Marquise is getting some things down. And I really like what Talisa's group did. I think we might start with that one. Because it gets into what I wanted to do. I normally would have you guys come up and write, but I know you might be a little shy on video. So we'll, I'll write them for you today. You can show me using your, your either analog or digital markers. Oh, we're, some people are still writing. Seeing some good stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because that's how you're going to place it, right? Is this years ago? Is it today? That's important. All right. Can you hear? What are the meaning of words? So, do we know what, have we talked about what genocide is? All right, let's, let's, let's first, let's nail that now, actually, okay? What are the three parts? So that, hold on just a second. Genocide. We got three parts. One, two, and three. What's one part of genocide? Sam, what's one part of that definition? Actually, not killing. What, what word do we use? It's not killing necessarily. Killing. What word? Starts with a B. Violence, what, what, what were you saying? Genocide, what else? Oh, because people feel bad about death. Death doesn't have to be death. There has to be violence. There doesn't have to be death. Yeah, the, the Jewish people, right. So, it, are genocides, are they against just anybody? No, it's a specific group, right? A targeted group. <laughs> All right, now, what were, the, what were the Nazis, what were they trying to do with the Jews? Kill them all. Kill them all. I like what Tracy said. So, do you see it? So that's part of our definition here, right? Is to, dis there's an intent to destroy whole group. Okay, um, Sam, what did your team come up with about this? So we need to know what words mean. Like, what is this even, what are these even long words up here? All right, what do you guys got, Sam? Let's see. We've got, um, what is Rwanda? Yeah, Rwanda. <laughs> That's really the same as this, right? Yeah. What is it? And okay, what do you got? What else? Anything? Uh, okay. Um, I saw you had some good ones. Uh, Marquise, what'd you come on? You know what? I like that you're thinking. Frankie, do we know what this is about? Do you see the second word, Marquise? Yeah, that's a good question. Part. Um, let's hold off for a second because I don't want to. Tracy and Arlene, what do you have? Um, Sam, another person's turn. What did, what did it affect? All right, this, this group's going to for a gold star. What did it affect? Why? Would you, what was your why question? Why and how it started. Why, how, start. Okay. What'd you have? 
You had the same ones, right, actually, right? How did it start? So we got another one said how, and then what was your second question? Who led? I think there might be a leader on each side, like you do with conflicts. Was this different than Jensen? Marquise, what was your second question? Oh, it's it similar. So now, let's just go through our questioning words. Um, we have who led. But if there's a genocide, let's look at our definition. We probably want to know who targeted group is. Yeah, it was the Jewish people in the Holocaust, but this is a different. So before we get much further, though, how do we things important? A clue that something's important. It'd be a clue. Tracy, usually pretty good with this. How do we know that something's I'm sorry, you got to sit up a little bit so I can understand you. Okay, so it's underlined on something, but how would we figure it out? Well, Arlene did something. Arlene, how did you figure out what was important? You looked at what up here? She looked at the learning target. At least your questions came from the learning target. Cause and effects, you know they're going to be important. Oh. How else could you decide, how could, else could you figure out something was important in the unit? It's at the top of your papers, your green papers today. Where, where how, how, your top of your green papers two. today, how could you figure out that something's important? Level it's in the level two, it's on the scale. And if it's even more important, where would you find it? Three. The level threes, right? Because that's grade level. level so you could look at, to identify crow content, you could look at the learning target, you could look at scales, if I spell it right. All right, that would help you know it's, know it's important. Okay, so I want you to talk in your groups. If you had two gold stars, where would you put them today as being most important for you? If you had two gold stars, but ours are going to be red stars. Actually, we'll do black stars, all right? Uh, talk in your groups, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. I want, I want to know where you're going to put your two. Actually, you can just come on up whenever you're ready in 10 seconds and put up your gold stars. Ready and go.